Brooks, the, the roar on 17 when you make that putt, do you feel like you get a home crowd advantage? Yeah, I love New York. It's always fun. If you do something really well, they're going to let let you know. Uh, and if you do something pretty poor, they're going to let you know. And I, I just love that. I love when the fans are on you, um, cheering for you, or you know, giving you crap if you, you screw up. I think that's, that's the beauty of it. At least I want that atmosphere. How much would another major title mean to you at this point in your career? Yeah, it would mean a lot. I think a major championship would mean a lot to anybody. To win one would be fantastic. I mean, I was just told that I think only Tiger and uh, Jack have won three, so that would be pretty special. Just got to go out and go play good tomorrow. How did the pairing go as you referenced it? I mean, I shot four under, so you tell me. Was there anything that made it different playing in one of the last groups with Bryson? No. I'll be honest with you, I'm not, I don't pay too much attention to who I'm playing with. I don't talk a lot. Um, I'm more focused on what I got to do. No, I don't really talk much during my whole round, ever. Probably talk even less on, on major championship weeks. Could, could you have seen this coming, um, the way you've performed in two majors in a row now? I mean, yeah, I thought all I had to do was be healthy. Um, that was just the only question mark. You know, having the off season to kind of bust my butt and be in the gym every day. Brooks, you said it took you a couple of days to digest what happened at Augusta. What were some of the main lessons that, that you took away from that experience? To never think the way I thought going in the final round. Learning what I learned at Augusta kind of helped today, but I'll just never have that mindset or that won't ever be the reason. Thanks for your time, Brooks. Yep, thanks.